Hello there, my name is Mark Bickle. Today we come to the New City Catechism, question number eight. Last week we looked at the requirements of God's law. Today we start a section on the details of God's law, specifically the Ten Commandments and what they are and what they mean for us. Before we actually jump into today's question, though, there's a question probably a number of you are asking, which is, why does it matter? Why is it that we should even talk about all the details of what the Ten Commandments are and what they mean? After all, some people out there would say that the Ten Commandments are outdated. They're ancient law, they don't really apply in the modern day, in the modern society. Others will say the Ten Commandments are vitally important because God's law is always God's law, and obeying God's law is how we get to know God and get into his kingdom, that salvation comes through obedience to the law, so we, we better know it because we better be obeying it. Others will say that the law isn't something any of us can obey, and therefore it's something that shows us really our sin and should lead us to Christ, and once we've gotten to Christ, then it has no more relevance to us. Old Testament law, New Testament, Christ, once we get to Christ, there is no need for the law. Others will say that the law shows us something about who God is, shows us something about what's good in this world, and therefore, even if we're not trying to keep the law, the law does give us some basic guidelines, some basic principles. I mean, I really shouldn't go murdering people. Um, that's, that's never really a good thing. And so it gives us some principles to live by. Others might say, that the law, while it shows me my sin and leads me to Christ, once I know Christ and I become like Christ and I'm becoming more and more like Christ, part of what that means is I become more and more somebody who's conformed to the law, just as Christ was conformed to the law. Which of these views, or which of several of these views, is the right way to look at the law? Well, this might be a slightly frustrating answer, but the answer I'm going to give at this moment is, wait and see. Hold on a little bit. Just like the scriptures themselves, they start out early on by God giving ten commandments, and then they start telling the story of God's people and how they do or don't obey and how God responds. They eventually lead to Christ coming and obeying the commandments and dying in our place. They eventually lead to the New Testament talking about the law and grace and how it all fits together. The Catechism is laid out in a very similar way. Today, we're going to ask about the Ten Commandments as a whole. As we look at questions 8 through 12, they're going to unpack the Ten Commandments. What do they each mean? What do we do with each of them? Questions 13 through 15, then, are going to talk about can they be kept? What is their ultimate purpose? What do they lead us to? Questions 16 through 19 are then going to talk about sin and idolatry and God's punishment, which will eventually lead us to questions 20 on, which we start a new section of the Catechism, which talks about Christ and his work and his redemption. So, if you're nervous as we start to talk about the law, you're wondering where we're going, you're wondering what we're doing, take a breath. Hold on for a moment. Let's look at the law as it was first presented to us in Exodus and Deuteronomy and the early books of Scripture to the early people of God. And then follow us over these next 10 or 15 weeks as we unpack what that means and what its purpose is and where that leads us and what we do with it. But today, today our question is simply, what is the law of God stated in the Ten Commandments? What what does the Ten Commandments say? It says, You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. And you shall not covet. Again, we usually unpack first the question and then the answer. The question, 
What is the law of God as stated in the Ten Commandments? Very important question. And I think before we answer that question, we need to take a step back and look at the context that the Ten Commandments is given in. You may remember that at the time, the people of God had been slaves in Egypt. They had been delivered by miracles, um, by ten plagues. They had been walked through the Red Sea. They would come into the desert. They have been fed. They have been given water. They have made it through the desert to Mount Sinai. And now the presence of God comes on the mountain, and Moses goes up to God, and he receives these commandments for his people. Actually, at the same time he receives the commandments, he also receives instructions for how to build a tabernacle, a place where God will come and dwell among his people. And in that context now, we're going to take a look at what these ten things are that God has said. And in Deuteronomy, Exodus, Exodus 5, 20 is where we're first given the picture of the Ten Commandments and the story of their creation. In Deuteronomy, as the people have now come to the edge of the Promised Land and they're about to go in, Moses reiterates the Ten Commandments. Here is the beginning of the statements that Moses makes before stating the Ten Commandments. This is Deuteronomy chapter 5. And Moses summoned all Israel, and he said to them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and the rules that I am going to speak in your hearing today. You shall learn them, and you shall be careful to do them. The Lord your God made a covenant with us in Horeb. Not with our fathers did the Lord make this covenant, but with us, who are all of us here alive today. The Lord spoke with you face to face at the mountain, out of the midst of the fire, while I stood between the Lord and you at the time to declare the very word of the Lord to you. You were afraid because of the fire, and you did not go up to the mountain. And then he said to you, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. What's the context of these Ten Commandments? It's God coming to them and speaking to them, saying, I've made a covenant, a promise with you today. And here, here, speaking face to face with you through Moses, here I'm going to give you some commandments. And you are to remember them. You are to be careful to learn them, be careful to do them. These are important. These are central to who it is is that you are as the people of God. So what is the law stated in the Ten Commandments? This isn't just anything, any law. These are the very words of God, the law of God, the, the way God has established his people. And they are things that his people were told to remember. Later they'll be told to teach them to their children, to meditate on them day and night. David's going to say he loves the law of God as he meditates on it and lets it soak in and lets it change who he is. That is the law of God. And so for us in these coming weeks, it's going to be important that we take time, that we take the energy to read them, to think about them, to memorize them, to know them, to let them soak into us so that they begin to shape who we are. Today, I'm not going to talk through the details of the question. I usually talk through all the lines and items in the question. That's actually what the next four weeks are going to do. Each week, we'll take two or three of these commandments and unpack it in more depth. But today, remember that these things we're about to read, that we're about to talk about, they are the central commandments of God that he used to establish his people. And notice who he is. He is the God who brought them out of Egypt. He is the God who's already redeemed them. He isn't saying, do these things and you will be redeemed. He's saying, I am the God who has already redeemed you. I have already saved you. I already brought you out of Egypt. Now, therefore, here is how to live as my people. What is the law of God stated in the Ten Commandments? It is that you shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them and shall not worship them. 
You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. You shall remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. You shall honor your father and mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. And you shall not 